So what's going on guys, my name is Mr. Dalek JD, and in this video I'm going to be giving you a tutorial on how you can get the upgraded shield within the Zombies Map 9, which is to upgrade the Brazen Ball to the Iron Ball. As you can clearly see from the footage, this is a upgraded shield. It has green flames on it rather than the usual red, it has double the ammo capacity for its gun, and all round durability is increased with this upgrade. But this is a pretty difficult easter egg to accomplish, so I would would warn you that this is something which is going to probably take you a little while to get inside of your game. Just before we get into things, I just want to reassure you guys that if at any point you are having trouble with this easter egg, then make sure to open up the description where I'm going to have a written tutorial down there and I'll have updated bits in the description as well, just in case Triarch decide to change anything involving this easter egg at the time of you watching this guide. If you found this video informative, I'd love to know down below in the comment section. You can also find in the description a link to my shield upgrade guide for the zombies map voyage of despair in case you haven't seen that and if you're new around here make sure to hit that subscribe button as well big thank you goes out to the h8ed panda as well as cjf1297 and a ton of other community members this has been a real community effort and the steps for this shield easter egg have been pretty obscure but within this guide if you follow it through down to the t then you should be able to get this no worries now jumping into the map nine of course we're going to need to build the actual shield first of course we need to get the standard iron ball and that requires three parts we can find around the map now in no particular order we're going to start with the Odin Tower and one spawn can be in the cauldron which is going to be just the left of these shields up on the wall. If it's not there go up the stairs and there's going to be a shield rack and you might find the piece in there but if you've not found it there then head up the stairs and lean against this barrel can be a third spawn for that part. Next part we can find in Zeus Tower so I'm just going to buy this bridge and it can be in the Zeus altar room just sitting on this statue's hand. If it's not there then go down the stairs and right facing you at those stairs on the second level you can find the part on that statue and if not then make your way to the bottom floor of the bathhouse and it's going to be leaning on this little table top here last part we're going to be looking for is going to be in the Ra tower and it will always be in the Ra altar room it can be right there where you see me pick it up it can also be adjacent there under that shotgun wall by then if you go around the corner it can also be just to the right of this pot once we've gotten all the parts you want to make your way downstairs towards the pit and you're going to want to build the shield there that's going to be of course the first part complete now from here now we've got the shield built we can start on working on the first of three upgrade pieces that we're going to be picking up and the first step which you can do pretty easily straight away is make your way to the Zeus altar room and around this area there's going to be three different ball heads that we're going to be shooting you can shoot these in no particular order we start off by shooting the one that we can see on the ceiling here so you just want to use your left trigger whilst with the shield is out and then right trigger so you can actually shoot and you can go ahead and shoot that and you'll see the bullets will hit and the eyes will be lit up just take a right and you'll notice at the bottom of this pillar there'll be another one which you can shoot and then we're going to finish it off here by going to another pillar which is going to be just above the exit there to the bridge and above there on top of that pillar you can shoot that you'll hear a specific activation noise that you've got the step right and if you go into the temple room the pack-a-punch area on the ceiling you're going to notice a little shiny shard you just simply want to shoot that with any weapon the shard's going to fall to the ground and it will say hold to pick up and that can be the first of our three parts right there now the second part for the shield upgrade is without a doubt one of the hardest steps i've ever seen for a shield upgrade and this is going to guarantee that you have to play on till at least round 25 in order to get the specific requirements for this step to be correct now as i'm making this a lot of people are achieving this upgrade by using circuit's kiss which is the death of orion weapon now since this is a shield upgrade I don't think you specifically need this, but it's definitely very, very useful in order for you to help achieve and get this done correctly. As I mentioned at the start of the video, I'll update the description if this changes, but as the current time of me making this video, if you get kills with this wonder weapon and then pull out your shield, the game counts you getting those kills with your shield instead of getting the kills specifically with the wonder weapon. This is something which has been fixed, so other maps like Blood of the Dead, for example, have the same effect. That doesn't work anymore. Anymore. and for all we know by the time you're watching this this effect may not work as well 
but I still recommend you having circuits kiss because it's going to be very useful for grouping up the specific zombies that we're going to need. Now this has differed between everyone but in my specific game this is exactly what worked and I didn't get the specific zombies that I needed in these best settings until round 38 which is pretty crazy. I've seen people at round 28 get this. It is pure RNG and pure luck on when this happens in your game and if you can manage to do it but I recommend training up in the pit until you get a lucky spawn and what we're going to be looking for is three sets of catalyst zombies so in my game I had water zombies which are the blue ones which walk around very weirdly I also had the poison one which are the green ones which emit gas and I also had the yellow which was the electric these are the three elemental zombies which worked for me in my game other people have said that fire has worked too but from my own specific testing I've not managed to get fire to work maybe I didn't kill them properly but what you want to be doing is this is why the circuit skills comes in very helpful but you can also achieve this using the homunculus but I really don't advise it because that's going to kill off the zombies before you have a chance to kill them but the aim here is to kill three different catalyst zombies in very quick succession using your shield now circuits kiss is perfect for this because if you have a huge horde of zombies which also contain the catalyst zombies as long as they're pretty close to each other you can shoot a charged shot of your circuits kiss and then quickly bring out the shield now if Triarch fix this trick where having your shield out will automatically count as kills with the shield then you're going to have to go up to the zombies specifically the catalysts and melee these specific zombies so I would advise you guys to use circuits kiss to group up these catalyst zombies and then whilst they're all tethered together you want to be killing them by swiping with your shield very very quickly now in my game I'm here down below by the pit and Odin's tunnel and that sort of area because it's very narrow it trains up the zombies very nicely and there's a portion where I have a train which is mainly of just catalyst zombies rather than normal zombies and I go into theater mode as well to show you that I had this specific grouping and this is what worked for me now the next part we're going to be grabbing is going to spawn on this statue here and it will not be there until you've completed this step correctly but for what I did is I was training the zombies up I had the water the poison and the electric zombie I had quite a few of each of them and that's why I said the RNG is such a big factor here but I charged up a circuits kiss shot brought my shield out and remember if Triarch fix this trick you're gonna have to melee the individual catalyst zombies whilst they are tethered and the tethering is what's perfect because it gives you a good amount of time where the zombies aren't dead yet they're just floating and you can use this to melee the zombies and get those kills but you're gonna hear your character say a quote you'll hear another noise and it's very very hard to hear in my game but as you can see the statue does spawn this part and just like the first part we picked up it's sort of see-through kind of shimmering it's very hard to see um, but it's very obvious once it spawns in and this is why this is such a difficult step getting that luck and having all the catalyst zombies spawn in for you when you need them is what's very very difficult so I've been training around in the arena with simply the strife pistol repap to the max and just trying to kill off all the zombies I can or trying to keep these catalyst zombies I would recommend not trying this with fire from my own personal experience because the fire zombies are very slow they walk so much slower than the other catalyst zombies so I definitely recommend the combination of water poison and electric but as you can see I tethered them I got the shield out it counted the shield kills and there we go the part spawned now for the third and final part we're again going to need to kill specific zombies very quickly in succession of each other and this is going to be a gladiator a brawler and a tiger so this is a little bit easier definitely than the catalysts they spawn a lot more frequently than they do for the others and as soon as i got part two i then went back to the arena and just trained around keeping the zombies and killing off the ones i didn't need but keeping the gladiator hoping a brawler spawned in and a tiger as well i tethered them up brought my shield out and again if treyarch fixes trick you're gonna have to make sure you get these kills by just simply meleeing the zombies we need but tethering up the gladiator brawler and the tiger them dying in quick succession i then went ahead and ran to where the mystery box can spawn in the fallen hero and you can see the shimmering shield part on the ceiling which you just shoot down and you pick up and you just want to run over to the buildables bench where you built the original shield and it will now give you the option for you to get 
the iron ball. Now, as you can see, it has green flames instead of the traditional red, which is awesome. And it has some pretty cool benefits. It has the ability for where you melee zombies that if the melee isn't a one hit, it emits a green flame, which will burn the zombie over time and eventually kill it. So it's going to be very useful. And the shield is particularly useful for its melee ability anyway against the gladiators and the brawlers. It can pretty much one to two hit kill them on any round. So it's very, very useful for taking them out in a quick situation. But this has been a very difficult Easter egg to accomplish. Like I said, you can open the description for a full written tutorial to make things as easy as possible. But it seems the only way for you to advance to get to that second part is to just play through rounds and hope you get lucky with the spawns of those catalysts. Compared to Voyage of Despair's one, which is actually pretty easy, this is a very difficult Easter egg to accomplish, and the reward I don't think is quite worth it. Maybe you guys might find some more uses for the shield than what I have in my game so far, but I had to show you this because a lot of people have been wondering how you upgrade the shield on the map 9 and what its benefits are because a few weeks ago when the game launched there was a glitch where you could glitch these parts to spawn in instead of legitimately getting them through the steps I've shown you so now we know exactly how to get it we can get the shield legitimately and we have that soul for you so I hope you guys enjoyed the video I've spent many hours trying to get this so if you did enjoy it a like rating would be very much appreciated make sure to hit that subscribe button as well you can check out my other uploads as of recent on your screen right now but thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one